Hi folks, Jeff Rotalstein here again with another exciting video from my world of experimental aviation. In my previous video, I discussed making molds and uh, louvers, as you can see in this video, for the cowling of my experimental aircraft. I also made a change to the front entry to the radiator or cowl lip. And as you can see here, this is the left side louver. In this video, we're going to discuss the effects that uh, these changes have had on the airplane, mainly its operating temperatures. And from this shot, you can see I've got two uh, oil cool inlets up the top, a center large opening for the radiator inlet, and in the bottom center of that opening is small, but there's a white hose there. That is for spraying water. So on a 25 degree Celsius or 80 degree Fahrenheit day, I set out to prove what these changes have made to the performance of the aircraft, mainly its water temperatures. case scenario for the configuration I currently have. Note the left gauge is the altimeter, center top is manifold pressure, water temperature, and then oil temperature at the bottom. Climbing straight out on the runway heading, full power to circuit altitude, and then a slightly reduced uh, power, a couple of man inches of manifold pressure for the sustained climb up to uh, my intended altitude of 2,000 feet. So we're just holding the plane steady here, climbing straight out. It's a sit and wait process. Airplanes climbing at about a thousand feet a minute, so we should get to our intended altitude in about a minute and a half. If you remember the uh, picture from before that showed the instruments, um, you can see that the water temperature is yeah, it's still in the green. I've reached my uh, circuit altitude here, so I'm reducing the power a couple inches of manifold pressure and, and continuing the climb. Approaching 1,800 feet here on the altimeter, the uh, water temperature is climbing very slowly, pretty much maintaining. Here we are, we've reached, we reached the intended altitude, 2,000 feet. And as I back off the throttle, if you look at the temperature gauge, you can see that it's stabilized at uh, just under 200 degrees Fahrenheit, that is. And this snapshot here shows the baseline picture. As I, as I back off the throttle, it's in the green. So this is several minutes later, eight or nine minutes later, and this is just to demonstrate what happens in cruise power setting several minutes later. It takes uh, quite a long time for temperatures to stabilize, as much as 15 minutes, but I gave it eight or nine minutes here and you can see that the water temperature is reduced down to 180 degrees. Yeah. 
end of that experiment, trying to put it down on the ground. the airplane down and start duct taping the louvers. So the next flight will show the effects of what happens when the louvers are covered. So what do we do? We repeat the same thing we did the last time, same profile, straight out. Same same flight profile, straight up plan 2,000 feet. Here we are approaching 2,000 feet. Got my hand on the throttle, backing off. And if you look at the center, if you look at the uh, temperature gauge, you can see that it's in the center of the yellow arc. So that's established our performance of our louvers. So we've gone from about 200 degrees up to 205, 206. And this is just a quick recap of the baseline at around 200 or slightly less. So that's the end of the louver experiment. Put it out on the ground. I take the coverings off the louvers and with reference to this photo, I cover up the, the, ridge, the air opening here and try to put it back to the uh, condition it was originally with some sophisticated tape and styrofoam. Complete the same test flight profile, straight out, ahead, straight out uh, climb 2,000 feet, full throttle to circuit height, then reduce the manifold pressure to about 27 inches for the sustained climb up to 2,000. So the louvers are open, but the cowl mod has been made. And you can already see that the temperature here is higher than it's been for any of the other conditions. And approaching 2,000 feet, got my hand on the throttle, backing it off, and now we've established that with the cowl change, we've gone from 200 degrees up to almost to the red line, 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, of course, red line is just a arbitrary number, really. I prefer to uh, remember the picture from before. You can see the small water hose there. That's for the water spray. I had just turned the water spray on. Red line is kind of like hell. It's a place you can go once in a while, but not a place you want to stay for long. So I turn the water spray on, and it brings the temperature down pretty fast. Watch it. If you're watching that gauge, you can see it's going down pretty quick.
There's a timeline in the corner if you want to uh, rewind and repeat to get the exact number, but it's somewhere in between 30 and 40 seconds. Drop the water temperature down from 200 degrees, 210 degrees Fahrenheit down to 180, which is where I like it. And here I reach over, pointing out the water temperature gauge, or the water spray activation switch, I've turned it off. And this snapshot shows that we've, we've brought the temperature down uh, pretty quick. That's it. Time to put it away for today. All the experiments are done. Shot of the three uh, baseline pictures superimposed on each other, we can see all the different temperatures. What's most interesting here to me is the fact that the um, oil temperature is affected mostly by the louvers, and the water temperature is affected mostly by the cowl modification. Well, one thing we didn't discuss here is that little hole. And what we're going to do is in the follow-up video is we're going to discuss that in more detail. And we'll do some flight tests related to the, to the heater core air inlet. Stay tuned.